Hey guys, it's me back again, and here's my computer. Do you know the reason why I opened my computer and didn't do anything with it? Well, today I will show you how I practice my IELTS every single day. And what websites do I use to practice IELTS? Okay, because normally somebody like they often go to some teachers to learn IELTS. I think it kind of works, but because my house doesn't have much money to afford classes to learn IELTS, that's why every single day I just practice IELTS by myself by this very useful website. Actually, I use two websites to practice IELTS, but today I'm just gonna use one website only and show you how useful this website is. All right, can't wait any longer. Let's start it. So this website I use is called IELTS Up. Yes, it's called IELTS Up. No, it's only up, no seven here. So IELTS Up. And when you type IELTS Up in your Google search, they here is the website. IELTS Up, your best IELTS guide. I will click this. And here is my website. I use this website to practice IELTS every single day. Guarantee me it is so good. So first, like, of course, you can practice four skills, including listening, reading, writing, and speaking. So here when you press this button, here is the home. You can practice every single listening about. So here is the IELTS listening. We have about listening section. So here is the listening section. When you press this, you will see the listening section coming up. And here you will have a sample of each test. And here is your IELTS listening score. So you will see here and here are the score of your IELTS. The IELTS listening score, how to prepare for IELTS listening, and there's a lot more. So I will show you every one of them. So first is if you press practice, there will be many practices coming up here. Like for example, I press section one. And I press section one, there will be a radio for you to listen. So here is the part one. Here's the radio, you just need to press the radio and listen to it and write your answer straight here. So you just write your answer straight from these blanking. Next here, after you finish, you can show your answers. Here are the answers, but uh, I think you shouldn't see the answers. Now you go next is the section two. So what it works is here. For example, if you finish doing them, you will press this button check. Of course, I haven't done anything, so it's all wrong, but you will press the check. So you will see where you are wrong. And here is the part where you show your answer. So each question is mark one point. Now move on to section two, which in IELTS, there will be four parts, right? So again, press this and you will listen to section two now move on to section three it's like the same thing you would just go over and again show your answers here but you have to check first and then show your answer finally we have the last section here is the last section and after you do all of it yes after you do all of it you will get your result here so I have to complete all first section to get result, but maybe if I finish all of them, I can get a result right here. So see, how useful is this? Really, really useful. So that's the listening part, and I think the reading part is just as the same. The reading part here is the same. So just to remember you, there are two types of tests, which is the academic and general. So the academic is maybe easier than general. So maybe if you are the first learner, you can press on the academic and practice the academic first. So there are plenty of tests for you. See? See how much test this is. You can practice from it. Next is the writing. So the writing is also here. You want to practice task one academic, press task one. So here are some of like the thing for you to learn task one. And move on, we have the speaking. I just love the speaking part. So here are some of like the things they teach you in the speaking, how to answer. So here, 
how to answer all of those. Finally is the exercises. So what I love most about the exercise is, for example, out of all the four skills, I am quite bad at reading. So I press the reading. And in this exercise, you can practice each part. Yeah, you can practice each of the lesson. So for example, uh, I usually get wrong mistakes, like wrong answers from true, false, and not given. Because in the reading lesson, like in the reading test, we have true, false, not given, multiple choice, sentence completion, matching paragraphs, short answer questions, skimming and scanning, classification, diagram completion, lots and lots of them. So for example, I want to practice true, false, and not given. Here is exercise number one. You will have like an essay right here, and then there are five questions. And when you finish doing them, for example, I choose press those. I don't know if they are true or not. Just press them for fun. So maybe here, right here. I will check. Oh, I got 80%. So uh, the things here is you can have the hint. So this question, I am wrong. Show hint. Why am I wrong? So they will have the explanation for us why we are wrong. See, you can learn a lot from these explanation. Yes, so each of them will have a show hint to see why we are wrong like that. And again, with the listening is also the same listening. We have the avoiding distraction or reading the question carefully. So there are lessons for us. If you want to have your band scores going up, I think you should learn each of these lessons. It's really helpful in order to get your levels up. Because if you just practice a test and then you get wrong, and you didn't even see the wrong answers, you're too tired and too angry. Well, I think it's not going to work, right? So when, for example, in the reading test, you see that you get mistakes mostly from the true, false, not given. So you practice true, false, and not given. So like this. Another thing I want to show you is the writing correction. So in here, oh, it needs money. Okay, so next is some IELTS vocabulary in this part. So maybe IELTS vocabulary for writing. So IELTS writing vocabulary. Maybe you want some vocabulary to describe graphs. Mm, there are lots of vocabulary. I will show you. Lots of useful vocabulary too for you to describe graphs. Or you can press on the academic words list. There are many academic words lists. Oh God, lots of them. So very useful. You can learn vocabulary right from here. There are many lists as well. And there's even IELTS vocabulary speaking too, which is just the same. You want to learn about travel and holidays or friends? I want to learn about the about education. So I press education and there are lots of like distance learning. There are lots of phrases which you can get more marks if you say those phrases. Yeah, there are lots of phrases you can learn in here if you want to have more marks. So that's it. Lots of them. Okay, so here we have a section called maximize your score. So maybe your name, your name is right here. And if you want to, okay, so tell us about your current IELTS when you can take trial exam, IELTS exam to know your IELTS level. So you can take your IELTS entrance exam in here too. And you can press this button and you will make some strategy, but you have to like press in here first. So there are some IELTS test samples some IELTS test sample, which I just showed you in the beginning. Those tests, you just press it and there you have it. You can do it and have your point. Also, you can have the speaking simulator, which you do the speaking test. So how does this gonna work? You press, you press start speaking test. And the moment you press this, it is just like you are talking with a real examiner. Because I see other websites, they just appear the questions for you. But here's so much more, so I will press this. Good morning, my name is Paul, and I'm your speaking examiner today. In this part of the test, I'm going to ask you some questions about yourself. Do you work or are you studying? Okay, so just like that, 
the examiner name is Paul, which I'm recording right here. So after this Paul man asks you, you will record your answer and answer the question. So just like it, you're talking to a real examiner called Paul. How useful is this? I love it. And after that, you will have next question right here. Now let's move on to the next question. Yeah, just like that. So like this examiner called Paul is talking to you. So just be relaxed and do the speaking test. I think it's really good. And here you can play your speaking test, finish the test and download it too. So that's all about this website. I love this website. So see how useful is this? You can practice real tests from four skills right here. You can do some exercise for um, each of the exercise which you like make mistakes from and you can learn vocabulary and you can speak with a real examiner from this website too so this website is called IELTS up all right so I guess I'll see you in the next video bye and right now I have to practice my reading right now so I guess I'll see you next time bye bye